Good morning, Valley. Today on Valley Por Vida, we are diving into RGV real estate tips. Now, we're also going to be checking in with our friends at the Humane Society of Harlingen to learn all about how the recent Clear the Shelters drive went. We've got tips on how you can post, uh, improve your posture, rather, and how it may be affecting your work productivity, plus things to keep in mind when buying your first car. Now, there's a lot going on, and we've got you covered. Valley Por Vida starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us this morning on Valley Por Vida. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Content segments during Valley Por Vida were brought to you by the Sonic Grilled Cheeseburger. For a limited time, only at Sonic. Well, NBC teamed up with hundreds of shelters across the country to host the Clear the Shelters campaign, which was a nationwide pet adoption effort that helped many animals find their forever home. Now, this drive was a huge success. Right here in the Rio Grande Valley, 450 pets were adopted during Clear the Shelters at various valley locations, and those animals are now bringing families across the RGV love and happiness. And our team visited with the Humane Society of Harlingen to learn all about this drive, as well as how we, as a local community, can take part in their mission. Good morning. Uh, we're here at the Humane Society of Harlingen. Uh, my name is Luis Quintanilla and I'm the executive director here. And uh, uh, we're just here to talk about Clear the Shelter. Uh, we've got a ton of amazing animals here ready for adoption, ready for foster, that are just looking for a good home. And uh, we're here seven days a week, so come on by. So a common phrase you hear in animal welfare, uh, especially with shelter workers, is the, the phrase adopt, don't shop. And what we're really targeting there is the breeder industry. There are tens of thousands of animals just in the valley alone that are completely without a home. Uh, you know, they, they are just as beautiful and wonderful and lovable as any animal that you get from a breeder and, you know, they're in need right now. So we always encourage people to, you know, to step away from that, you know, shopping uh, for animals and, and go to your local shelter uh, to adopt one that's in need. And the Humane Society of Harlingen is no different. We get over 5,000 cats and dogs every single year. And uh, luckily we've been no kill for over two years now or almost two years now. And um, it's all due to people uh, coming in to adopt. Yeah, so everything that we do here at the Humane Society of Harlingen is to try to, to sustain and grow our, our impact uh, for people and the pets in the community. So nothing could be done without, without the community support. There's only nine of us on staff, including myself, but we have an army of volunteers and an army of donors and supporters and local partners, uh, individuals and, and businesses that, that love animals. And you know, it's a pretty uniting uh, cause, you know, who can say no to a cute cat or a cute dog, you know, and uh, we've been able to sustain our operations for, for over a year and a half now. Uh, we haven't euthanized a single animal for space and uh, it's been pretty exciting. It's really rewarding, not only to see all those tails wagging, um, but it also is a human factor. You know, our staff, you know, I think we're much happier than we've ever been because we're able to save so many animals, uh, far more than we ever did before. And every single day we give out food uh, to people in the community who have fallen on hard times to try to keep those families together so they don't have to turn to surrendering them uh, to the shelter. Uh, we started that pet food pantry at the start of COVID last year and it's been sustainable ever since and it's all due to the generosity of the community. So yeah, come on by, we need, we need your help. Good morning, everyone. We're here at the Humane Society of Harlingen. My name is Elizabeth Gomez. I'm at the Director of Community Engagement for the Humane Society. So I wanted to talk about uh, donations. Here at the shelter, uh, donations are very important and uh, we rely on the community uh, to give us cat food, dog food, toys, whatever they can help with. And uh, we do have a wish list on our website and that's hshtx.org. The community has been so amazing to us. Uh, they bring donations, sometimes on a daily basis when we need them the most. So as a thank you to that community, uh, we host a low cost clinic every month and we are having uh, the next one on the 18. Unfortunately, all those spots have been filled, but we are gonna have one for October. So that's our way of saying thank you to the community by giving low cost medications and low cost vaccines. So. Obviously, we do want all of our animals to get adopted, but sometimes that's not possible and uh, people think and overthink if they want to adopt or not. So we do have uh, several options to help 
people uh, make a more informative decision when it comes to adopting. So we have several ways of fostering. So you can foster an animal long term and that's between one or six months. Uh, you can take them on a field trip, trip on a field trip, you can uh, take them on a sleepover overnight. Just if you can take that animal out of the shelter life for a couple of hours, that benefits them greatly. So we do encourage the public to do that. And there's, like I said, several types of fostering and sometimes we do have babies that need uh, bottle feeding, syringe feedings, and that is what we call long-term um, fostering. So uh, Clear the Shelter goes until September 19 and we do have several exciting promotions going on right now at the shelter and it's gonna be for both fosters and adopters. So for adopters, everybody that adopts a pet from the Humane Society automatically qualifies for a year of free vaccines for that adopted pet. And then you get, um, you enter into a raffle for free uh, tick and um, flea prevention medication. And that's really expensive, so it's a pretty, pretty great deal to be in this raffle. And now for fosters, if you foster one of our animals, any kind of animals for a minimum of two weeks, you get a voucher for a free spay and neuter surgery for your own pet. And it gets even better. If uh, you find an adopter for your foster, that person gets a voucher for free vaccines for a year. So it's, it's exciting. If you're interested in fostering, adopting, we have so many information in our website, hshtx.org. There's also a lot of information for volunteering. We are very active on our social media, so make sure you head on to Facebook, head on to Instagram, and see what we're posting. And hey, we post pictures of cute animals, so who doesn't want to see that? Again, 450 pets were adopted during Clear the Shelters, including 310 at the Palm Valley Animal Society, five from Isabelle Y. Garza Animal Shelter, three from Forgotten Friends Texas Rescue RGV, 11 from the Yaki Animal Rescue, and 121 animals were adopted from the Humane Society of Harlingen. Adopting a pet can, be definite, can definitely rather bring you love and happiness, and the team at the Humane Society of Harlingen is so excited for you to lend a hand in their mission of rescuing animals. Now, you can feel free to volunteer, donate, foster, and so much more by visiting your local animal shelter. Content segments during Valley Por Vida were brought to you by the Sonic Grilled Cheeseburger for a limited time, only at Sonic. All right, well, median home prices in Texas increased over the past decade amid steadily increasing numbers of homes, according to a report released by Texas Realtors. Now, it featured statewide and local market data on total homes sold, median price, days on market, and average price per square foot uh, for each of the past 10 years. And we went ahead and spoke with a representative to learn more, as well as get some real estate tips. Go ahead and take a look. So Brownsville right now is a very innovative market. Um, we have a lot of people that are coming because of our port. There's a lot of uh, new jobs. We have a fantastic school district. And then of course we all know SpaceX. SpaceX is inviting all kinds of people to our community and they're fastly becoming one of the larger employers in Brownsville, Texas. So we're excited because for the longest time in the last decade, unfortunately, because of the housing bubble, the uh, builders stopped building homes. And we do have a shortage in housing right now. Like I mentioned, in the past 10 years, we've had an inventory of about six to eight months. So we didn't have a problem with housing issues, but right now our inventory is at one month. So if we have our first time home buyers and we have people that are coming to our area that are interested in purchasing a house, uh, we have multiple offers, it's very competitive. But the, on the flip side, the positive side, we do have a lot of innovative builders that are interested in our area and are building homes left and right to address our shortfall in the housing market. The Texas Real Estate Center has wonderful statistics. The Texas Association of Realtors has wonderful information. And we have approximately in the Rio Grande Valley, 3,000 realtors that are eager to help you. 
And our, our, our realtors are very involved in the community. They're very aware of the community and the housing needs. So look for a friendly realtor that will help you. A second of all, a lender is very important. Right now, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac uh, was able to do their, they have a new initiative to help uh, second time buyers, investors, first time home buyers, where the restrictions are not as strict. They're more user and helpful and friendly. The good thing about it is that interest rates remain at record time lows. So this is a perfect time to buy. Uh, according to the National Association of Realtors, within the next two years, we will have an increase of 9%. Currently in Brownsville, we've had a 22% increase in, in prices on the market. Uh, along with Cameron County, we've had an influx of prices going up. So don't wait around, now's the time to buy. Take advantage of the interest rates. We have a lot of good things happening in Brownsville, as you all know, a lot of industry, a lot of builders coming out. Get involved with your community. Uh, ask, look for a local realtor, ask for help. We're here to help. Always, the first time home buyer process is scary for a lot of people, but don't be afraid to go out and ask. Everybody's eager to help. And I'm very proud of Brownsville. We have a very innovative, creative mayor, uh, city managers, teams, that we're doing a lot of progression along with our engine throughout the whole valley where we're succeeding. All right, well, it's time now to take a commercial break and then we've got to look at your local weather updates, but stay tuned because Valley Por Vida will be back and we'll give you some car finance tips from an automotive expert. We'll also talk about different ways to improve your posture, plus more coming up.